We're back. And just like that, we are back. You've got to move it. Move it. And you know what? Studies have shown that that music can just lift your spirits, but it will help you get motivated and exercising. I mean, I felt like moving once you put the music on. I felt like I should move it, move it. There you go. You know, I feel like maybe we should run like a little um, aerobic workout now. With the We're going to take a break. Left. We'll be right back. We're going <laughs> to run around the building three times, and that's what we want y'all to do, too. Do you know the name of this movie? Madagascar? It is. Oh, when God. my grandson was born, he's fixing to turn 20. I bet we watched this 100 times. Did I get a point for that? I feel like... One point. Yep. We're going to play a game in a minute, so get ready for points, James. All right. Yeah. So, motivating music helps. You know, I had talked about that I started to... Now, I'm speaking to myself, too, Q family. I'm not being judgmental. Because One finger out, three pointing back. That's right. I've had struggles with exercise. I haven't exercised in two years. And then I started, you know, right after the new year, gotten myself some challenging videos and have been working, you know, in the mornings to try and lift my whatever three pound weights i was very excited today i actually am up to the eight pound weights and but i'm not doing like you know i've had a couple of weeks where i didn't follow the videos where i tried to just do a few things on my own because i didn't feel as motivated you know stress and whatever is getting in the way but i do feel so much better exercise does so many amazing things for the brain and when you think about it, Q family, that I love so much, think about this. If you go to the doctor, let's say you go to the plant guy, right? You go to the plant guy and he tells you, oh, this is the kind of fertilizer you need. And this is exactly where you should plant the plant. And you should get this kind of bug and do this kind of thing. And we do it. We do it without thinking. I mean, if the plant guy tells me where to put the plant because it's going to flourish there, then I am going to do it. Yet, if your doctor says, hey, Susie, you should exercise. It's like, oh, That's really? That's a bad word. Well, why should I do that? If you're, if, when your doctor gives you a prescription for medication, what do you do? You bucket. <laughs> Amanda, I tell her, I'll tell you. Yeah, most. Like, I don't want to inter- I don't want inscriptions. I want to do it natural. That's right. I feel the same way. But most of you are like, oh, I got to go to Walgreens. You make a, it's almost like a ritual. It's like, oh my gosh, I got to go to Walgreens. I got to get the prescription. I got to go pick up the prescription. It's all about the prescription. If the doctor wrote on the prescription pad, exercise. Bad word. Why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you do the same exact thing? If he gives you medication and says this is going to help your blood pressure, you're like, yes, I am going to take medication for my blood pressure. Well, if exercise reduces your blood pressure, why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you moving your body and exercising to reduce your blood pressure? Why are you relying on the pill? when exercise has so many benefits besides reduction in blood pressure to increase your cognitive function. I'm not a doctor, but I imagine many, many doctors out there will be like, people, exercise. Get the body moving. So think about it. Think of it as a prescription for yourselves to keep yourselves ageless and feeling better. Remember, any little bit you do now will benefit you uh, cognitively and physically, and you'll just be a happier person hormonally. It does great things for your body. So I'm going to switch gears for a little bit, James, and here we go. Because next week is Valentine's Day, next Wednesday. I'm not going to be here. I mean, I'm going to be here on Thursday, but I'll have missed Valentine's Day. You'll see them the night before if they come to the meet and greet. Right. I'll see them the night before. Because you're coming to the meet and greet. Yes. Yeah, I'll be there. Oh, yeah. I think I heard the chicken. So Jesus says, what's the greatest commandment? Love. Love one another. Love thy neighbor. 
Guess how many times love, without Googling it, because I see you with your phone, love is mentioned in the Bible? A bunch. A bunch, right. That bunch is approximately 714 times. Wow. Resentment, unforgiveness leads to what, James? 11, 12. Hold on, you caught me in the middle of something. Disease. <laughs> Sorry. So <laughs> resentment, unforgiveness, not acting lovingly it acts like leads it to acts like cancer. disease in your body. Yep. Right? So you could do all the moving you want. And you're like, yes, Barbara from Lake Nutrition Center, 1112 Bachar Boulevard, told me that I need to exercise because I am going to live ageless. But if you're carrying resentment and unforgiveness, that, that exercise isn't going to help you. It'll help you feel better and it'll do certain things for the short term, but that resentment is going to turn into disease in your body. Now, look, we've all been hurt by people. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you never talk to that person again. Forgiveness is more about you than it is about them. Forgiveness just means you're going to say, I'm done having this situation attack the inside of my body. So think about that. Do you know how many times the word forgive is in the Bible? No, but I got a feeling you're going to tell us. Yeah. 30 times in the Old Testament, 40 times in the New Testament. And in Matthew 18, it teaches us how to handle conflict and how to forgive. Matthew 18 tells us, hey, look, if, if somebody hurt you, you go to them and you talk to them about it. If there's no resolution, you bring somebody else in the conversation. If still no resolution, you bring in the church. Jesus was our answer to forgiveness. His sacrifice was the ultimate forgiveness. So if he could do that, I could easily be like, all right, yeah, I forgive you, regardless of if the situation is still hurting. But if you're holding a grudge, that's going to keep you sick. And this is what forgiveness is not. Forgiveness isn't, I forgive you, and then you go gossip about it in 10 minutes later. You know, the church is fantastic for that, where you're like, yeah, I forgave Susie. And then tur you turn around, and you're like, she stabbed me in the back. I don't like her anymore. So you need to forgive one another the way God forgave you, and that's Ephesians 4.32. For those of you that aren't Christians, call me, because this is an issue that needs to be solved. What forgiveness isn't, it's not apologizing to someone and then gossiping about them. It's not forgiving someone and then keep bringing up the situation over and over and over again. You can't keep bringing up the same problem. Once you forgive, you are done talking about it. It can't keep eating at you. You don't need total resolution for forgiveness. So let me remind you that exercise keeps you healthy and, and, and forgiveness will keep you healthy. So James, here we go. Jesus called us to love people. Let's see how many songs we can name with love in the title. I'll let you go first. Love is in the air. All you need is love. Ooh, love me tender. Can't help falling in love. Mm. Anybody want to call in 352-315-1410 and help us get through the next three minutes of the show by, <laughs> <laughs> by naming songs with love? Go ahead, James, your turn. I think I have three, and you have how many? Three? I think we're tied. And then I get the extra point from guessing whatever I guessed before. Hmm. I'm not in love. Okay. You have the whole playlist there. This I is do. so unfair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to win this one. Yeah. How about And I Love Her by the Beatles? Lost in Love by Air Supply. I love Air Supply. Me too. How about Fooled Around and Fell in Love? Well, there you are. I've heard of that song a few times. Yeah. Um, love, love, love. I just uh, love in the first degree, Alabama. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, I am, I'm at a little love stop here. So, so keep going with the playlist. Cause Our love, don't throw it away. Don't who, throw it all away. Who's Andy? Oh Gibb. yeah, Andy. Gibb. Don't throw it all away. I love, I love. That's it. The yeah. love, the love song by Anne Murray. Oh, what about the love boat? I just 
I just fall in love again, Anne Murray. Oh, yeah, we love Anne Murray. I was trying to get to Barry Manilow, but I mean, there's a bunch. Oh, Barry Manilow must have like a whole Art line of Art Garfunkel, love. so much in love. Yeah, I never really listened to him. Hmm. But are you going to have a whole playlist of love songs on next week? There, I'm not, I'm not going to stop what I'm doing to do that, no. I don't <laughs> have the time. Uh, let's see. All you need is love. love. I the said Beatles. that already. I got, a point, I got a point for that one. Love Me Do Yeah. by the Beatles. So Q family, that I love. You need to start thinking more lovingly. You st- need to forgive those people that have hurt you and wronged you and make it all right. Because all of those things are just going to confuse you, bring you down, and not let you achieve your goals and not let you age be an ageless you know physically feeling mentally feeling person that resentment is going to hold you back it's going to turn to disease in your body if it hasn't done so already so we've learned from the studies today that they've turned around frailty just by doing some exercise so let's learn to forgive let's learn to stay in love with people around us that's everybody around us You know, treat the clerk at the store a little bit kinder, a little bit better, a little more loving. Treat the person, you know, in the gas station or handing you your meal tonight. Tip your servers. Let's just start getting out of this place where we're counting every penny that we have. Because you don't know if your pennies are gone tomorrow and who are you leaving them to anyway. I used to tell my mother the best thing you could do for us is die broke. Die broke. You know... Treat Spend people. it all. That's right. Treat people the way, you know, they deserve to be treated. You know, this economy and things are pretty rough on people. But if we hoard everything we have, then that's not good either. So start, you know, thinking more lovingly about the people that are surrounding you, the people that are serving you, the people that are helping you. Each one of those, think about them in a more lovingly way. Because of that, too, will bring up your mood and it will help you know, the brain hormones to kick in and it'll make you just feel better. So we're going to start moving, Q family. We're going to start loving more. Lost uh, Love will keep us together. Muskrat love. Oh, muskrat love. That was uh, Tony Tennille in The Captain. Um, muskrat love. Right, wasn't was it? I Captain and Tennille? Captain and Tennille, yeah. yes. Um, Carol King saying, oh, I used love to, is real. I used to love that Everlasting Love song. What was that, from Bee Gees or something? And then, yep, and then Our yeah. Love. Our Love. Who's The Carpenters. Oh, the Carpenters. Karen. Karen Carpenter. One Love. There we go. Oh, we should have did Name This Tune. Yeah, we should have. That would have been Oh, that would have been funny. Because I can name that. From that, I would have never named it. I need like an hour and a half of a song to play for me to be able to name the tune. <laughs> Celine Dion, To Love You More. Yeah. I don't remember that. The Power of Love. Oh, Celine The Dion. Power of Love. Oh, yeah, I remember that. There's a lot of, you know, they, we, we, that's one thing that we really wanted was love songs. Love songs. When we when we did this, you know, easy listening, love songs, that kind of thing. Yeah. There's lots of love songs in our playlist. Yeah, there are. Mm-hmm. Because they put you in a better mood because mm-hmm. they're soft, they're easy to listen to. and it Takes me back to the 70s. It, yes. Yeah, 70s and 80s. Chicago, Will You Still Love Me? Oh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about Will You Still Love Me? Is that Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? Tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, I love that song. Oh, me. Sweet Love by the Commodores. Oh, the Commodores. They were very good. I got them in here. Yeah. What else do we have? I'm looking. I'm just kind of gently I guess through. I can't believe. I guess the Q family is busy exercising because nobody is calling us in at 352-315-1410 to give us a love song. Everybody Loves Somebody by Dean Martin. Everybody love somebody sometimes sometimes we should yep. do it all the time you're nothing, we should change you're nothing the until somebody to... loves you by dean martin you're everything q family you're everything diana ross baby love next week we're going to talk about social isolation this is a great topic because 
people don't need to, you know, be alone and feel unloved. You are loved, Q family. Donna if you're Summer. sitting there by yourself, you are loved. Donna Summer, I love you. Donna Summer was great. We should do a whole show just on disco because disco will get you up and out of their chair and moving, moving. It makes moving. me want to put a pair of roller skates on is what it makes me want to do. Oh, yeah. And the Osmond Young Love. And now that, you know, now there's more prevalence of falling. <laughs> yeah, well, then we might need some, some bubble wrap, but, uh, you know. Yeah, that's a good idea. Better love next time, Dr. Hook. I don't remember that. You don't? No. Is it on the playlist somewhere? Because I'll have to listen in. Oh, now I remember it. Yeah. That was a good song. Yeah, there you go. All right. March away, Q family. Get out there and move. Get up and move it. Move it. Well, Q family that I love, move it, move it. And we will see you next week. I will miss you. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I love you. And I'll see you on Tuesday. Yes, and I'll be there at the meet and greet. Come on out. All right, come on out. God bless you. Don't forget the place.